Sex Determination The sex of a fetus is determined by the nature of the sperm and not the ovum. The sex of the child, whether male or female, depends on whether the 23rd pair of chromosomes is XX or XY, respectively. Primarily, sex determination occurs at fertilization and depends upon the type of sex chromosome in the sperm that fertilizes an ovum. If it is an X-bearing sperm that fertilizes the ovum, the fetus is a female, and if it is a Y-bearing sperm, then the fetus is a male. That he did create in pairs, male and female, from a seed when lodged in its place. Al-Qur'an, chapter 53, verses 45 and 46. The Arabic word nutfa means a minute quantity of liquid and tumna means ejaculated or planted. Therefore, nutfa specifically refers to a sperm because it is ejaculated. The Qur'an says, Was he not a drop of sperm emitted in lowly form? Then did he become a clinging clot? Then did Allah make and fashion him in due proportion? And of him he made two sexes, male and female. Al-Qur'an, chapter 75, verse 37 through 39. Here again, it is mentioned that a small quantity or drop of sperm, indicated by the word nutfatan min maniyin, which comes from man, is responsible for the sex of the fetus. Mothers-in-law in the Indian subcontinent, by and large, prefer having male grandchildren and often blame their daughters-in-law if the child is not of the desired sex. If only they knew that the determining factor is the nature of the male sperm and not the female ovum. If they were to blame anybody, they should blame their sons and not their daughters-in-law since both the Qur'an and science hold that it is the male fluid that is responsible for the sex of a child.